Hey guys, this here. I want to give a basic introduction of the usage of exalted herbs. which is basically a TLDR of how, when, and why to use them. It's like very entry level. Generally, early on in the league, it can be beneficial to invest an exalted herb into like a low-ish six like so like low item level. Or worst case scenario, tabby level, although that's pretty farmable in Blood Aqueducts now. If you have any build enabling uniques that you can grab early on, that can also be a good choice. The prices of Exalted Herbs increase rapidly early on, so I would avoid selling them on day 1 to 3. Using Exalted Herbs isn't really a good idea unless you're pretty rich yourself. There are a couple of things where it'll be like a sure thing though. And you're usually better off using it to buy uh, other items, or once the league has been active for a bit, you can sell it for chaos. Generally, I'm only going to exalt items that I will personally use. I don't exalt items for selling. Most of the time, unless I'm crazy rich, I'm not going to exalt items I plan to sell. Some examples would be a double damage life or ES jewel that I'm using, and I'm, if I'm relatively wealthy, I will exalt that, and it's a pretty good option. With 3.1 as well, ES items are most likely going to be a bit more back in faction because you don't necessarily need vault pack. So if you're rolling an ES item and you hit two high ES prefixes, so for example, tier 1 flat ES and tier 2 per percentage ES, then especially if you don't have the option of hitting a suffix, like three resists and then the two prefixes, then yeah, you want to exalt that. You have a pretty decent chance of hitting hybrid, and there's two hybrids you can hit now. High DPS weapons as well with an open prefix for hybrid is a good choice for exalted herbs. So for example, the 340 physical DPS sword or a 550 physical DPS axe. Rings and amulets are pretty tricky to know into exalts because they're very much on a case-by-case -case basis, and you can end up destroying, for example, a righteous fire ring by exalting flat added fire to it. So it's very complicated to do those. An example of a dagger or a scepter worth exalting could be if it already has spell crit, attack speed, high flat added to spells. Then you could try exalting for either hybrid or pure spell damage, and you can also exalt crit multi. It would be very good for a caster. It's important to only use this on gear that is already worth more than one exalted arm. And generally you want to make sure that it is already a good item without exalting it. So you want to have several tier 1 rolls on the item already. You also want to make sure that the item can't break or get destroyed by exalting it. By that I mean rolling something that would render the item useless. So for example, if you have um, an energy shield chest with percentage energy shield and hybrid percentage energy shield, exalting that and not hitting, but still hitting a prefix. So for example, if you had thorns, the entire item's ruined. Exalted herbs are also used in master crafting from level 8 masters, but these can be pretty complicated to use properly. And sometimes you want to leave like a prefix or a suffix open to continue master crafting on them. That's why exalting can be very complicated uh, outside of the things that are sure things. Make sure to see what available crafts the masters have as well. Sometimes it's worth going for a craft instead of risking getting nothing. Thank you for watching and try to die less than I do.